all you anime lovers out there, welcome to the first episode of the With the Homies Anime Review. This week's review will be Wit Studios' Vinland Saga. From the very same studio that brought you many greats like Attack on Titan, The Ancient Magus Bride, and After the Rain, now comes the anime adaptation of the long-running manga series, Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga is a historical anime set in the throes of war and conquest. During the start of the 11th century, in the era where Vikings ruled and pillaged the northern parts of Europe. It is a violent tale of struggle and revenge, which is told from the perspective of a young boy named Thorfinn. Young Thorfinn grew up listening to stories from the great worldly traveler, Leif Erikson, and his esteemed father, Thors. Thorfinn longed to see the paradise he learned about from these stories, called Vinland, and he dreamed of being an adventurer, much like his father and Leif Erikson. Until one day, a group of Vikings arrived to Thorfinn's village with their cunning leader, Floki, who reveals Thorfinn's father, Thors, to be a former Joms Viking, a legendary soldier among the Vikings and a feared and respected figure to other warriors alike, until his sudden disappearance years prior. Floki, under the order of King Sven, demands for Thors to rally the best warriors in his village and return to the Joms Vikings in order to aid in their conquest of Europe, or else the rest of the village would suffer the consequences of his decision. I won't continue any further to keep myself from spoiling any important details or plot points, but I will say that the story and characters that you come across while watching are definitely some of the strong suits of the show. The character development runs deep in this anime, from Thor's savage and murderous backstory to Thorfinn's humble and modest upbringing with dreams of sailing the ocean to the world and charting uncovered territories, to the rumblings of war upon their small, quiet village. Through this first season, I constantly found myself in a glass case of emotion. No, but really, the events that befall these characters at times can be truly heartbreaking, and when something good finally happens, it makes that moment all the more sweeter. The writing staff did an amazing job of adapting those pieces of the manga into a television series without forsaking any of the source material. I personally have never been a big fan of anime openings, and I know throughout the community there's an overwhelming majority of fans who would kill me if I admitted that to them. Thankfully, you don't know what I look like. Unless... Unless you do. And I might need to be careful. But honestly... Whenever I start a new episode, I find myself listening to the opening all the way through. And at times, I even find myself singing along. No, I'm, I'm actually kidding about that part. But the overall musical score done by Yutaka Yamada, the same composer of the popular series Tokyo Ghoul, is absolutely phenomenal. The constant clash of war drums, the screeching of woodwinds, and the wailing cries of violins perfectly orchestrate the intensity of the battle scenes. Everything just feels organic to the setting of the series. I feel as though I'm listening to a live band of Vikings play as severed limbs and the spray of blood gently mists over everybody. I have to admit, it is one of the prettiest animes I've had the pleasure of watching. And in terms of animation, it definitely stands out among the other top shows of this anime season, such as Dr. Stone, Fire Force, Astra Lost in Space, and even Dumbbell. I really loved how crisp and seamlessly the battle scenes play out each episode. Whether it was a scene happening right before Thorfinn's eyes, or a flashback to the past. The animators did a fantastic job of capturing the violence and brutality of the era and these battles through their work. And not just because of all the blood and gore. Well, maybe. But no, really. Each scene has a delicate balance of beauty, symmetry, realism, and grit that helped to make the show not only aesthetically pleasing, but at the same time warming to the heart. This is an extremely talented, dedicated, and passionate team behind the production of each episode, and I'm hopeful and excited to see more projects of this caliber come from them in the future. If you've been reading the manga for years, or you just happen to be a passing fan, you may notice some differences from the anime, especially when they both start. I personally prefer the opening episodes of the anime, without spoiling anything, because of its strong juxtaposition to the overall story of that arc. 
as opposed to the opening chapters of the manga. Even though they both kind of mirror each other in each adaptation, they just start at different points in the story. Each week, I find myself constantly checking Amazon Video, even when I know a new episode has yet to be released, because of the anticipation the series has built. And whenever I watch a new episode of Inland Saga, I can't help but feel like I'm a part of something unique and amazing. Like I'm participating in an important moment in anime history. Or maybe that's just what I like to convince myself of. I continually experience some of the same feelings I first noticed when watching some of those early greats like Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Champloo, Yu Yu Hakusho, and even Trigun. Whether you're an anime fan of old and have been watching and reading manga for decades, if you have only watched a few good ones that you have under your belt, or if you've never even laid eyes on an anime in your life, which I find hard to believe, I am hard pressed to think that you will not like this show. Thank you guys for listening, and I hope maybe somebody out there that has been considering checking this show out, running it through their mind, I hope that I have successfully managed to sway your opinion and force you to give the show a shot. Because trust me, you will not be disappointed. Unless you are. Then, in that case, I can't really help you. It's your homie Potter, and this has been another episode of the With the Homies Review Anime Edition. And I am giving Vinland Saga 9 raving weeaboos out of 10. <laughs>